Test, 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 test. Can anybody hear me? Can you guys hear me? All right, what's up guys? Welcome to this video. Um, I'm just testing because I just got a new microphone so that I don't sound like I'm in a big empty room, which I pretty much am. So uh, I wanted to start this video off first by apologizing to Solar Guitars and Xavi Martinez over at Solar Guitars. So if you guys saw one of my previous videos regarding my um, Solar S 1.6, I said I didn't receive a certificate of authenticity, but as it turns out, I did receive a certificate of authenticity. I just didn't look hard enough in the gig bag. There was a compartment in there that I didn't see and it was stuffed in there. So yeah, I had it the entire time. Let me show it to you guys really quick. It's actually pretty cool. This is what I was really looking forward to when I bought the guitar. I mean, aside from the guitar, but if you guys can see this, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. This is what the certificate looks like. It's got a couple signatures from Greg and from Ola, the owners of Solar Guitars. And uh, right there is what I was kind of the most excited for. There we go. So if you guys look right here, it says that my guitar is number three out of 100 uh, out of this limited run. So I'm not sure if that means that they're gonna make 100 of these guitars total, that's it, or if this is just number three out of this limited run and the number's gonna go higher. I don't really know how those things always work, but anyway, wanted to get that out there. Hola, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't always wear my glasses, so sometimes I can't see everything, so I couldn't find the certificate of authenticity. That's why it happened. All right, so moving on from that. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about the Fortin Nameless Suite plugin by Nero DSP. Uh, if you guys are in the plugin world, you guys play heavy metal, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But they came out with a standalone mode for that plugin. I don't know exactly when that came out. I barely found out like about a week ago. And when I found out, I was wondering if the standalone mode was already in my plugin and I just didn't know, or if I needed to download a separate Fort Nameless Suite for in order for that to work. I went ahead and went over to NeroDSP.com to go and check it out. I did a quick search to find if anybody had done a video on this before because I figured I can't be the only one that's wondering how that works and I didn't find anything. Now, obviously, I'm not, uh, I'm not very good at looking for stuff with that certificate of authenticity fiasco. Yeah, I didn't see anything, so let's kind of dive into this and I'll show you guys what I did and maybe it'll help some of you guys out. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see here. Cool. Okay, so all I did was I actually already have it open, but I went to neuraldsp.com uh, to go see if I could get any information. If you guys scroll all the way down to the bottom of any page you guys end up at, you'll see downloads down here. And if you see downloads, you'll see Fortin Nameless Suite plugin. Just click on that. And at the very top, there's a section here that says installers. And on the right hand side, you'll see PC and Mac. What's gonna happen after that when you click on it, I'm not gonna go through it because I already did it, but it'll bring up an installer box and you just go ahead and run through it and click okay, okay, almost like you did when you first downloaded the app, except you're not gonna run into any licensing or any payment sites because they use iLock, which should already be installed in your computer. And it'll update everything. And after you guys do that, go ahead and close this out. Uh, it'll be different for PC obviously, but for Mac users, go ahead and go into the finder go over here to applications and then you guys will go up and just kind of see that now you have a neural dsp file now when you guys have fort nameless suite beforehand at least on mine i didn't have a neural dsp file until i updated it so now i've got one go ahead and open it up and there is your fortin nameless suite uh, over on the right hand side i've already created a shortcut for mine and that's it uh, now, obviously this isn't gonna be recorded audio through a digital audio workstation because I'm not using one. Now, what's really cool about this is whatever presets you guys have already made for the plugin are already inside of it. So you guys don't have to go through and make new plugins. It takes them from the plugin app inside of your digital audio workstation. So that's really cool. So let me go ahead. Mine is already in mine. I, have a, I only have one preset. You can see how uh, detailed I get into some of these plugins. But, uh, right, so let's go ahead and turn it up. The volume. So if you guys can see, it's the same old app. It, it, there doesn't, nothing changes, the sound doesn't change. It sounds killer. And I can plug straight into it without having to open up my digital audio workstation, which is badass, because yeah, it's just badass. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, I also have some questions regarding what type of audio interface I'm using. I am using the Universal Audio Aero interface, um, which when I got it was $699. And I think in terms of audio interfaces, that's middle of the road. They go as high as you know, $1,500, $2,000 for a professional grade uh, audio interface. And I believe they go even higher than that. And they go as low as $79.99, $69.99 for a cheaper one. This one definitely does its job. I've never had any problems with it whatsoever. I've never had another audio interface to compare it to. So, I mean, I, I really, I'm, it's great. It works, it's good. I like it, I like it. All right, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I just wanted to get that information out there to you guys in case some of you were wondering how to use that standalone mode. Um, as always, please like and subscribe if you guys found this video helpful. Hit that notification bell so you guys see the next video that I put out. Uh, yeah, take care.